do rag wisdom here. In the midst of the second month of the invasion of our country by our enemies, and they are our enemies, folks, I've recognized the fact now that I'm in a, in a civil cold war, which is going to become hot the more this shithead does. And I know that the GOP and, and the titular shithead of their party, the trump Putin birther bastard, will do more. But in the meantime, folks, I'm here for you, especially the young people, you millennials. I'm on my way out, whether I like it or not. Well, you know, the way this world is, you know, we get a lot, sometimes we get a long life quantity, we don't get any quality, right? I want to remind you about this book, 1984 by George Orwell. There's George Orwell. I must have read this book more than 60, 70 times over my lifetime. I'm 66. This book, my Bible, I'm so happy I read it. It kept me from joining cults. And it helps me recognize Trump, Putin, Trumpist, GOP, totalitarian shit. And just to let you folks know, um, I read an article in the uh, New York uh, Times. This is the New York Times Magazine. This is Department of Justification, the Uncertain Future of Truth and Justice at the Nation's Top Law Enforcement Agency by Emily Bazelon. Uh, it looks like Bazelon. Emily. Okay? And this was really... I mean, I knew about some of this stuff my, on my own from reading other stuff. But this, she kind of puts it all together in a nice, frightening way. And I want, I'm going to talk about that in a, in a moment. But this is for these young people out there, these millennials and these post-millennials. are going to have to live here. who's going to have to suffer. Because when you put, any time you put, like when I say you, not you personally, when the nation puts a, a scumbag, into office in this way, and it was and it was done in so many illegal ways. I mean, the voter suppression, GOP voter suppression, the GOP gerrymandering. Look up the word gerrymandering. Uh, GOP uh, conservative Supreme Court putting in Citizens United so that fascists like the Koch brothers and Adelson and Ichbon and the like and the birther bastard can control our lives, can destroy our lives with their with their wealth. And uh, these folks, I guarantee these Paul, these Paul Eddie Munster Ryans, these bitch McDumbbells, uh, they want to bring back the old, old days when there was no middle class, there was no labor unions, there was no social programs. I mean, what did the what was the government occupied with mostly at that time? Defense? You know, during the Gilded Age, the 19th century. You know, the, how many social, they didn't have social programs. I, I think they had, a, I, I don't know if they even had an income tax yet. I know they had a draft to look that up. And the enabling GOP, you know, not all of them, but, you know, a lot of them are enabling our enemies, our totalitarian enemies, to do something that has never been done before in war, in actual physical combat war through the use of cyber war. And we have to accept that there's a, there's a cyber war. That's right. Imagine if I could take my computer and shut off everybody's power. <laughs> hey, I'm a science uh, speculator, excuse me, a speculative fiction person. And uh, I don't discount the destructive force of cyber war. And that's what, this, what the Russians did to us. So, they've turned our country against us. These totalitarian Russian oligarchs and oligarchs all over the world who are banded together, conspiracy theory alert, but are banded together like the Koch brothers and uh, Adelson in our country to undermine everything we stand for, everything we live for, the freedom, 
No walls. Okay? No extreme vetting. Okay? This article is about uh, the, the Justice Department now under the traitors, the Trump Putin and the GOP traitors. And Mike pointed Ku Klux Klan racist cracker. Uh, this is the Justice Department. And, the, you, and, and if you haven't had a chance to read this last Sunday's New York Times article, it's frightening. This is not a novel. This is obvious to me. Now, the Justice Department is responsible for stuff like um, how police behave. So, when all of a sudden they're coming into communities, and black communities, you know, we shouldn't have black, white, that. But we should all be able to live together. But right now, we have, they'll come into black communities. And what they'll do is, they'll stir it up. They'll stir it up, hoping that there'll be a riot of some kind. Oh, there it is, look, the riot in Chicago. Because these son of a bitchin' fascist cops, some of them that are the fascist Trump Putin kind, wanna go in, stir it up. Let me tell you something, folks, if they do that, don't let them stir you up. They start stopping and frisky and trying to arrest people. Sit down. Sit down all over the place. St inhibit them from doing anything to anybody. Come to uh, the south shore of Staten Island where I live and protest peacefully. I'd love it. Sit, sit ins. I want. I want these frickin' cops to try to drag away someone who weigh, who's sitting down in a peaceful protest who weighs like 300 pounds and doing a dead weight thing. The Trump Putins and the Cracker Sessions and the Nazi Bannons and the Nazi Millers wanna see riots and war. Bloodshed, so they can use anything as an excuse to undermine our democratic republic. This is the department, by the way, that's in charge of voting rights. And the Republican Party and the Trump Putins are trying to suppress the voting. It's this department that's going to investigate every crazy main maniacal thing that this dictator is going to want to do. Oh, we have voter fraud. This thing's going to try. This department now under this fascist uh, KKK guy is going to try to suppress our voting. May, again, make our police more powerful to destroy us, to hurt us, to stop our civil rights. If there's any groups being persecuted like my tribe, the Jews, they have a civil rights department, a racial discrimination department. All of this is now under a wacko, a fascist. And this is one of the ways that the Putinians are trying to destroy our country. And for the people, the young people, for the young people who are going to be around. I got a lot more to say on this topic. A lot more. You got to be awake you got to be on guard. You got to be in their face. You got to you got to ignore all the distractions. You got to read this book and you stand up in this motherfucker's face in his party's face and you say, "No! America is free. It is not walled. It's mine, not yours, and we're here to tell you 